Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming to you guys with my thoughts on the LA Splash Liquid Lipsticks. I have two, eight of them and I actually reviewed these with swatches on my blog already. So I'm not going to get into too much detail on these. I'm going to tell, tell you about them super quick and yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. So these can range anywhere from price between $11.98 to about $13.98. The liquid lipstick craze is like going wild. Um, everybody wants that awesome liquid lipstick that's matte. I have a couple from Kat Von D, a few from Stila. I haven't had the chance to try any from Anastasia yet, but... I decided I would give these a chance and they're still kind of higher up there in cost um, if you see anything in drugstore which I haven't yet I've been told that the LA girl um, brand came out with some liquid lipsticks that are actually really good so that's something I'm gonna be on a hunt for because I love the LA girl glazed lip paints so <coughs> I think I'm going to be looking for the liquid lipsticks from there too but there are a number of different colors from la splash there are also different types of textures and so forth so for example i have the la splash lip coutures i have the studio shines and i also have that's a studio shine well these say lip couture but one or two of the colors are from their other collection. I love the names that these have. You're looking at some of them are inspired by Harry Potter. So there's Love Good, Charmed, um, Nymphadora. There's some that are inspired by Disney princesses or the women in Disney like Belle, Tiana. I love Princess Tiana. Um, Belle. Um, Alice in Wonderland from Alice. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some of these. And I'm going to go ahead and put a clip somewhere on the side of the swatches where they're going to be actually swatched on my hand. I'm not swatching them on the lips specifically because I'm sick. And yeah, it's not something I want to be constantly taking on and off my lips. I am using Charmed on my lips right now. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to start off with Rose Garden and this is just a beautiful, like everyday type of pink. Next is Ghoulish, which is a very popular shade right now. It's one of those grayish, taupey, beige type shades that everybody's coveting to at the moment. One of my favorites is Charmed, which again is what I have on my lips right now. It's kind of an everyday type nude shade with a, a soft hint of pink, very wearable, which I like. Another one is Love Good. This is one of my favorites as well. And it is kind of a... Kind of a mauve nude pink. More on the nude than... The mauve, but it's still deeper than Charmed. I have the Studio Shine Lip Luster in Belle. And I love this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a peachy pink shade. A perfect nude. It does have like a gold iridescence to it, but it dries matte, if that makes any sense. So when it dries, you, you, you have like these gold, like flaky sparkles in your lips, but... It still looks matte, if that makes any sense. Nymphadora is another favorite. Can you see a trend here in the ones that I like? Nymphadora is like a deeper nude shade. This would be gorgeous for fall, but I've been using it anyway now. Um, and then I have two brighter, bolder shades. This is Alice, which is, like I said, that Disney collection. It's got that kind of pinky purple vibe going on. Super pretty. And then I have Tiana, which is a purple. It's from that Studio Shine again. So this is like the Disney one with the glitters in it. 
as well. So they have Alice, Belle, and Tiana have that slight shimmery effect to it, but it still dries matte. So I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown. Again, I'm sorry for not having the swatches, but I'll input them somewhere here. already done a full review of these on my blog so I'll be linking that post down below as well as probably in a card somewhere here but these are actually reasonably priced um, they do have a smell to them so if you're a little bit sensitive to smell just know that when you open it you may smell it almost chemical smell but that is what gives it the properties that allow it to stay all day and really just hold and hug your lips um, they apply fairly easily but they dry very quickly so it's one of those things that you have to work really fast like any other matte or liquid lipstick you have to make sure that your lips are moisturized but not with the moisturizer on it and exfoliated so you want your lips to be supple and soft because these lipsticks will adhere to every single crack and show every single crack possible on your lips and it's not something that looks attractive or even feels very good it feels very uncomfortable um, but they do last a really long time like any other liquid lipstick if you eat anything oily um, or just constant use of it you definitely can notice it's going to stop flaking off and it starts from the inside of your mouth however if you're not eating anything oily and you know you're just eating your basic stuff for the most part you can get a long time wear out of these I have had love good and charmed stay on my lips for like 10 hours I put it on first thing in the morning keep it on all day and that thing will not budge so long as I'm not eating anything oily or oil based and so long as I don't have like lip balm or anything on my lips prior to application um, when you do see it though it will start to come off on the inside if it does start to come up but for the most part I notice that it stays really really well removing the product is not easy but it's not difficult um, a makeup remover wipe will not get this stuff off plain out simple I like to take my insta natural deep cleansing facial oil to remove this off or my coconut oil and I just rub it along my lips really nicely without scrubbing rub it really nicely get it concentrated on there and then I can go ahead and take a napkin or just with water and my hand and just wipe it right off and it usually will come off okay um, and that is whether I had just applied it or otherwise if you try to use a makeup wipe or anything else it usually will just be a scrubbing thing and you're probably not gonna get it off your lips are gonna be raw but if you are constantly swatching these taking them off putting them on even with coconut oil they can be drying I don't notice that my lips feel dry all the time like I naturally am the type of person that wants to constantly lip lick my lips but like I don't notice sticky unless I'm licking my lips all the time and overall it is really not as dry as you would think so long as your lips are exfoliated and not naturally dry if you have naturally drying lips then yeah you may probably feel that they're pretty drying but the price point isn't that bad and I love a lipstick that I can kiss my husband with and kiss my children and eat like a piggy and not have to worry that they're gonna come off and these really do do the job um, if I had to compare them to the two Kat Von D lipsticks I have three actually now um, I do like the Kat Von D ones more but these cost a lot less I mean almost ten dollars less than what a Kat Von D lipstick would so you kind of outweigh the cost and pros and all that good stuff pro cons cost all that stuff but yeah so that are my that is my overall thoughts on the LA splash liquid lipsticks overall I think they're really nice I'll leave my review down below for you guys to check out and I'll see you on my next one bye guys